this lesson we're going to talk about creating queries in Google Sheets when your criteria is wildcards or partial text matches. So you can see here we have some loan detail information and the first thing I'm going to do is add a new sheet where our query and its results will live. So I'm going to rename this sheet results. Up near the top we'll insert our query function. First input is our data. That's our loan detail information back on the first tab. So I'm going to click in the top leftmost cell, hit control shift right arrow, and then control shift down arrow. That will select everything. I'll hit F4 to lock that down. Our next input is our query input. For now, I'm just going to input select star. That will pull back this entire data set on our results tab. Once we've input this entire function, we'll go back and specify some wildcard parameters. So our final input is the number of row headers we have in our data set. That is one. So we'll hit enter and you can see this produces our entire data set on our results tab because we said select star. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit F2 to go into our query statement. I'm going to copy this second input paste it up top here and go back into the query one more time and reference the cell that we just pasted into so that we can run our select statement out of this cell rather than have to keep going back into our query function. So you can see one of our columns contains the branch location column and in our first uh, wildcard search we would like to pull back only the loans that contain the word main in the branch location. You can see there's one here for main office. I'm going to hit F2 in this top cell here. I'm going to add a where condition. So we want anything in column D that contains the word main. Well, we're going to use the keyword like, and as you know, text needs to be enclosed in single quotes when you have text criteria in a query. Since we're doing a partial text match here, we need to enclose it in percentage symbols. This just tells Google Sheets, pull back anything that contains the word main, whether it be you know, on the right or the left or the middle, pull back anything that has this word. So you can see this pulls back only loans that contain the word main. Now we could turn that around and make our statement so that we pull back only loans that do not contain the word main. So that would pull back all the other branch locations. We would simply just add the keyword not in front of our column reference and you can see now it pulls back all the branch locations that do not contain the word main. Another way to perform a wildcard search in Google Sheet queries is to use the keyword contains. So you can see in column B we have the client names and we'd like to pull back anything that contains LLC somewhere in the client name. So we're going to go back into our query statement. This time after our where condition we want to point to column B and use the keyword contains. Again this is text so it needs to be enclosed in single quotes but there's no need to insert percentage symbols this time since we have the keyword contains. So you can see this pulls back our three clients that contain LLC somewhere in the client name. You can also perform a query based on the number of characters there are in a field value. So if I reset our select statement back to pull back everything again, you can see we have this last column that is a loan rating column and maybe we'd just like to pull back only loans that have either a triple A rating or a triple B rating, which means 
they have three characters to them and exclude anything that is one character or two character. So again, we'll go back to our select statement, insert a where condition, and this time we want to point to column J, and we're going to use the keyword like again. In single quotes, we're going to insert three underscores. So that just means we want anything that contains three characters. So you can see now the query only produces items in the loan rating column that have three characters to them. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.